slight issue. I tried to just pull off the side of the road just a tad and then I slid. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to go any farther because I'm just sliding sideways. I'm sliding. Um, welcome back to a new video. My name is Jordan if you are new here and this is the Good Life Outdoorsman channel. Um, today we're going to a farm pond and we're going to be targeting some bass. We're going to set up some jaw jackers with chubs and minnows and be jigging around. So stay tuned for that. Hopefully we can get something over four pounds. Well, not how I wanted to start it out my day, but uh, yeah, I'm stuck. Um, great thing about this is Josh is coming and I do have my tow chain with me so he'll be able to just pull me straight out but um, we're going fishing on a farm pond that's not a great start right there we're just trying to pull off the side of the road uh, a little bit because it's just a, a dirt road and there's no parking lot or anything so we're just trying to pull off the side of the road and got stuck and started to slide more and more Luckily, I have my chain with me because he should be here shortly, and uh, hopefully we can get myself pulled out. No issues. Big old chain. I had to go pull my mom out the other day, so luckily I have that with me. But yeah, um, good thing it's not like a super steep ditch because I would definitely roll over. I'll get my uh, truck out of the smaller ditch over here and then get to fishing. See you soon. Bye bye. Don't go back in. Well, I don't know if that could have went any worse or any better. Um, probably could have went better, could have definitely went worse, but we, Josh got me out, uh, the hook would not hook on the front side of my truck, and, uh, which I would have rather got pulled out from the front, but it just wasn't, the hook wouldn't, on my chain wouldn't fit around it. He pulled me from the back, well... It instantly took me down the hill, which is what would have happened if I would have tried to get out myself. But once I took my truck out of traction control and he got straight behind me, then we were all good. So Hopefully we catch some damn fish now and make it all worth that little hiccup. But it's definitely always, there's always some tribulations when it comes to fishing. It's never easy, so we just got out, and now we're going to hopefully catch some fish. Stay tuned.
that big, but... He was pulling, though. Yeah. I thought he was, like, pulling line. Look how yellow he is. He's pretty. Farm pond bass. Farm pond bass. Five, he's five got a really in. dark lateral line. Yeah, he's a pretty little farm pond boy. Little dot. He messed me up pretty good. <laughs> Heck yeah, man. Mine went off, too. Yeah, that's the problem is when these jaw jackers go off the... Yeah, the bait falls off. Yeah, this is fun. Yeah. I already got my blood pumping. Just caught a bass on tungsten. <laughs> yeah. I didn't even feel him bite it. Just a little guy. Terrible bluegills. Definitely cut smaller. On the fall. That's a bigger gill. Yeah. Nah. Not that big. Yeah, probably. Oh. There you go. That's a bass. A bass. I think the biggest one so far. <laughs> Not a giant giant, but pretty, pretty cold farm pond bass. It was on a plastic and a tungsten. Euro tackle, like crazy critter, just in the pearl color. I got a yellow and orange tungsten on. I think a lot of these like farm ponds, the bass, mainly all the fish just cruise so much it's hard to stay in one spot you'll eventually get some to come through but i think jumping around helps but also scares them away moves them around so i'm not really sure i'm gonna keep bouncing around a little bit and see what happens there you go uh, i think this is probably the smallest fish of the day yep bigger bluegills out of here. Nothing special about it. They're just they're really just roaming a lot. Based on the pan optics they 
they're traveling in bigger groups kind of mixed in I, we haven't seen what looks to be like crappie or catfish so I think a lot of the, the only species in here are bluegill and bass successful we caught some really big bluegills it was super hot and heavy in the beginning like almost every jaw jacker went off in like the first five minutes just a really shallow farm pond um, it's pretty awesome that we get a chance to do these open field water site you know fish these places it's super cool program and uh, provides a lot of good fishing provides a lot of good fishing by the lake. It was fun. Except when I got stuck, then it wasn't fun. I was Here in Nebraska, we have these open field water site program, or have a wa open field water site program. What it is, is uh, farmers can allow people to come on their property and uh, fish. And that is a super cool program. It, it gives such a wide variety of access to all these like farm ponds that if this wasn't possible they probably wouldn't ever get fished and uh, as long as people respect these places they keep on uh, they keep them up pretty nicely and uh, that was one of those it's just a little cattle pond um, nothing special about it it wasn't deep it wasn't big very small cattle pond just had a decent amount of fish in it and uh, yeah that's what that is and they're they're scattered all through um, the state and I believe there's a specific um, like a handbook or guide that you can find in on our gaming parks and it gives you a whole list and map of all those definitely check them out if you get a chance they uh, provide some really good fishing opportunities so yeah if you didn't know what that was that's what that is so I hope you guys enjoyed today's video um, a little different from what um, we've been doing. Um, we've been doing a lot of catfishing, a lot of the same lakes and stuff, but we were trying to do some new things and uh, that was fun. Um, we didn't catch a super giant bass, but we caught quite a few. Caught some really nice bluegills. We we're just getting, uh, well, next time we'll probably do our hooks a little differently maybe. They just, the, they just weren't getting hooked and um, yeah, I don't know. I've never used jaw jackers for bass. This is my first year using jaw jackers. If you have any tips on what hooks to use, um, let me know down below. But yeah, it was a fun time and uh, it's getting cold. It's getting really windy. So we're going to call it a day. So thank you guys for tuning in. See you next time.